There is not much info on removing the hack on the PS Vita or reporting the console to stop, but I will show you an easy way to do it. Let's get started. So maybe you want to sell your PS Vita, or you want to learn how to hack the Vita from stock, and you desperately need to remove the hack first. We can do that, but let's inspect the console first. There are several homebrew apps on the home screen, and these apps aren't official, and this is the first sign that the Vita is currently or previously jailbroken. Let's move on to the settings. As we can see, there is the Hankaku settings right there, and it means that the console is currently jailbroken. But let's get into the system menu to see some more information. Open the system information. And yes, we can see the Hankaku suffix behind the firmware version. And since it is on 3.60 or 3.65, then most of the time, it also runs Enso, or permanent Hankaku. If yours is 3.73 or other firmware versions with the Hankaku suffix, it is not permanent. And rebooting the console will turn off the hack until you turn it on again using the Hankor app. Now get out of the system menu and open the Hankaku settings. Disable the version spoofing. Version spoofing is like a firmware update blocker. So when we type in the highest firmware currently available for the Vita, the console cannot update the actual firmware in place. Move the cursor to the bottom of the page and select Reboot Device. Now press and hold the L button while the console reboots. By doing this, it will bypass the Enso and the plugin at startup. And you might see a notification to update the console. Select Update System Software. If you don't see it, you need to get into the settings, turn on the Wi-Fi, and update the console manually. On this screen, select Update using Wi-Fi. And follow the on-screen instruction. At this stage, you have removed the Enso and the Hankaku. You can try running any homebrew app, and it won't work. And you can also get into the settings and see the firmware version. It is clear, with no Hankaku suffix. Now you can delete all the homebrew apps one by one or format the device to wipe it clean. It's up to you. At least, that's how I remove the hack on my PS Vita. And I think it is the easiest one. Thanks for watching this video.